Hey everybody and welcome back to RGTV or Recreation Gaming TV, whichever you guys prefer. I know my last video I uploaded was my rev my spoiler free review of Avengers Age of Ultron and I apologize for not uploading any videos after that in the month of May. And you guys know I'm always honest with you guys. The truth is I just got really lazy, f number one and number two. I didn't really have any like videos to make like in terms of like these topic videos that I, that I usually make. I do have gameplay videos for you guys. I just don't have like things to talk about and all that stuff. But uh, another thing is, make sure you guys follow me on social media, which is you know Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The links f for those uh, my social media accounts will be in the description box down below, so that way you can you guys can stay updated with me, and that way you don't have to wait till I upload a video to see what I'm doing or any of that good stuff. Now. I was deciding if I should make this video or not. It it wasn't that it was hard. I just didn't know if it was the right thing or the wrong thing to do. But I felt that in my heart that this was a video that I should make. And on top of that, you guys love when I make these type of videos to begin with anyways. So what this video is about is the law enforcement and all the controversial things that have been happening here in the United States of America. And I know there's other things that are happening all around the world too, but I'm going to specifically talk about here in the USA where I live. And the first thing I want to talk about is uh, Eric Gardner, I think is the guy's name. This happened on July 17, 2014. I know we're in 2015 now, but so Eric here, he's a 400 pound black man I'm, I'm not saying black to be racist or anything just it's just to because he's black he's a 400 pound asthmatic man who died on staten island on july 17 2014 by the police and he was just on the street and i'll be sure to put the link in the description so you guys can see the video and everything if you guys haven't seen it but i'm positive you guys have seen this so Eric really, from what I saw, he really didn't do anything wrong. Like, he did resist a little bit when it came to arrest, but he didn't do, like, anything bad. He didn't do, like, he didn't push the police officer. He didn't shoot the police officer. He didn't have, like, no hostages. He did nothing wrong. Like, yes, I admit, he did resist a little bit, but it wasn't, like, where he was running away or, you know, like, hurt the police officer. He didn't do any of those things. He really didn't do anything wrong. And the police, you know, it's like probably five, six officers, I don't know. But in the beginning, it, it's two cops from in the video. And one of the cops gets behind him and, and puts him in a fucking chokehold. Excuse my language. So he, he's put in a chokehold and everything. And they just, they take him down. All these police officers come out of nowhere taking him down. And one of them puts their hands on his head and like, not gonna say smash it, but they put it his head against the pavement where he couldn't do anything. And he's saying that I can't breathe, I can't breathe like many times. And it's not like he's saying it normally. He's saying it like as if he's struggling to breathe. And, and all the evidence you ever need is in the video. And the, the police officers have the audacity to say to put your arms behind your back when they're not letting him put his arms behind his back. Because they're choking him. He can't breathe. So how can he put his arms behind his back? There's like six officers on him. And the, the man dies. Like, are you kidding me? The man dies. He didn't do anything wrong. You can watch the whole video. He did nothing wrong. And they killed him. And they're acting like nothing happened. And they want to say, put your arms behind your back. Like, honestly... With all this stuff that's going around the world, like, these police officers should really be ashamed of themselves. And I'm not saying to all the law enforcement, because I know there are people in the law enforcement that do their jobs right. I know that. And for those people, I have the utmost respect for them. And yeah, best believe is, you know, if something's happening to me where, you know, like someone's breaking into my house or whatever, yeah, the first people I'm going to call is 911. I'm going to call the police for help. Because that's their job. That's what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to be the good guys. But then you have the good guys being the villains here. And they're making themselves look stupid and making America look stupid just by 
just by looking at the video. They're making everybody look stupid and it's retarded. It's ridiculous. An innocent man, citizen, died for no reason. They took someone's life. It's not like he was shooting them. He was pointing a gun at them. He didn't have any hostages. He did nothing wrong. And it, it really amazes me. So that's the first thing. And then here's the second thing. This happened recently this year. I don't know. I think it was possibly in April. Where there's this cop. And another black man. I'm assuming he's black because of his skin color. Like it's like African American or Jamaican. Something like that. Please forgive me. I'm not racist or anything. I'm not trying to be rude. It's just it's just to identify with the, with the citizens and all that stuff. And... You know, this guy's here. I'm going to play the video so you might hear in the background. Now, the black man, I admit, he does run away, but he's not, like, going at a fast pace. He's going at a very slow pace. Like, even though he was going away, he could have easily been caught. And the police officer shoots eight times at him. Now, I don't know if he... He got all eight shots on him, but he shoots eight times in the back. The man is down. He's down. And he wants to say, put your arms behind your back after you just finished shooting him. Now, I don't know what it's like to be shot at, but if I was shot that many times or once or twice, I think it would be difficult for me to put my arms behind my back. Just, just from what I'm thinking of, because... Getting shot must hurt really badly. I don't know what it's like to get shot in the back, but I it must hurt a lot. And he plants something next to him as evidence as for him, like, getting away or, like, resisting all this shit. And it's ridiculous. Like, how are you going to shoot a guy eight times in the back? And on top of that, when you're in the law enforcement, where it's like a police officer, you know, SWAT, whatever it is, Aren't you supposed to be in shape for these type of things because of anything that can happen in case someone runs away and, you know, all these other things? Like, you really had to shoot a man that was going at such a slow place that even I could have caught him just by jogging at him. And when you jog, you don't go at a fast pace. I could have easily caught the guy jogging, but no. This idiotic, retarded police officer decides to shoot him Instead of making the effort just to catch him and arrest him. Because the guy ha had nothing on him. He didn't have a bomb. He didn't have a gun. He had no hostages. He he did nothing wrong except for, I guess, jogging away from the police officer or whatever. And I don't know why the police officer was there arresting him. I don't know what was the situation. But he shot him eight times. And it's absolutely ridiculous. And I really can't believe that. The law enforcement, these police officers are getting away with these things. They're abusing their power. They're not doing their job right. And it's absolutely ridiculous and really getting out of hand. And they're, they're getting away with it, which is what really pisses me off. Excuse my language. But it it's truly sad. So that's how I feel about it. And again, I'll say this again. For the police officers and the law enforcement, for the people that do their job right, I have the most utmost respect for you guys. But for those that don't do their job right and abuse their powers and doing everything the wrong way, I have no respect for you guys and I'm sorry. Don't get mad at me. Don't kill me. It's just how I personally feel. So, you guys comment down below. Let me know what you think about this whole situation with the law enforcement and all the controversial stuff that's been going around in the United States of America and all around the world. And just give me your opinion on it. You know, don't be rude. Just let me know how you guys feel because really, this is really a sad thing. And as human beings, because we're all the same, we're supposed to be helping each other out and making the world a better place. So thank you very much for watching and you guys have a nice day.